the, the remainder of my time. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Mr. Chairman, as well. Uh, I recently introduced the H.R. 3413 uh, uh, Act, which is called the Access Act. Uh, there's so much potential in this field. Uh, my bill directs the Department of Transportation Secretary to create an advisory council on developing autonomous vehicle technology for senior citizens and populations underserved by traditional public transportation services. This legislation creates a forum for seniors and folks who depend on public transit uh, in underserved areas. It also brings manufacturers, suppliers, and other stakeholders together on how best to address the needs of those, uh, th these two communities and in order to realize incredible benefits uh, from self-driving cars. Quite simply, our goal is to make sure that the needs of seniors, those with disabilities, and those who rely on public transit are heard during the development of self-driving technology. The most recent DOT survey uh, indicates that 15 million Americans have difficulty getting the transportation they need. And according to the National Caregivers uh, Library, there are approximately uh, 8.4 uh, million seniors who must depend on other forms of transportation. By 2030, the number of drivers over the age of 85 is expected to be four to five times what it is today. Without convenient transportation options, some senior citizens might even place themselves at risk on the roads by driving when they should not. Uh, Self-driving cars could allow senior citizens to remain safe and independent rather than rely on others to be mobile. You know, uh, again, uh, uh, my parents, as for a matter, uh, my dad, uh, who's a former member of, of this committee, uh, loves to go to baseball games. Uh, but I'm worried uh, during, you know, when you, they're night games. Uh, he has to drive about 45 minutes to St. Petersburg to see uh, the Rays. And, uh, you know, I worry about that. And, uh, and I know he's a good driver, but uh, it'd be better if he were in an autonomous vehicle. Uh, he would be safer. So, uh, in any case, uh, I think this is, there's so many advantages to this particular bill. Uh, simple things most of us take for granted, such as getting to work, uh, going to the doctor, a trip to the local grocery store, or across town to visit family can be difficult undertakings for some. Self-driving cars have the potential to put seniors back in the driver's seat of their lives. I greatly appreciate uh, Chairman Walden and Chairman Latta recognize, for recognizing my concerns and working with me to include the general intent of my bill into the amendment and the nature of a substitute we are considering today. Again, this is an, a great bill, and uh, I know I don't have a lot of time, but those with disabilities as well, as Representative Harford said, uh, I actually have uh, something similar to macular degeneration. I drive now, but uh, in five years, it may not be safe for me to drive or uh, safe for others on the road. And, uh, and this is really exciting legislation, and, uh, and I th it's going to help a lot of people improve the person's quality of life. Thank you very much, and I yield back, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much.